you know, if, if there's any elect brothers that's sincere watching them, stay away from that guy. But the guys that do believe him, they ain't part of the elect, you know? Because the Most High said, you know, the deceive and deceive are his. So that means the Lord don't want you to get it. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief and depart from the living, from the living power. But exhort one another daily while it's called to today. And exhort me to know to build the brother up. That's why we're doing the shows. So brothers' faith can be built up, you know? Yep. So they can learn, get closer with you, how about shame you, how about that's why, you know, brothers constantly, every day, every day, brothers from GMS constantly put up shows, whether it be from New York, uh, from different states, outside um, America, you know? Every day shows are being put up. Well, exhort one, one another daily, while it is called today, as any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Yeah. Okay, uh... Next scripture, I'm gonna go to 2 Timothy, the third chapter. All right, 2 Timothy 2, Timothy 3, I believe 2 and 12, 2 and 12. 2 Timothy 2 and 12. Matter of fact, I'm gonna read it again, because we already read it, but I'll just read it again. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him if we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. Of these things put them in remembrance, charge it them before the Lord, that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Mm. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. You know? And that's part of doing his work, you know, a study. You know, going into these words, Hebrew words, these Greek words, some Latin. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word, the word of truth. You know, and Yahshua, he don't study. That's why he, he's being confounded. Mm -hmm. You know, cause the shit he's coming up with, you know, he's he being cut, it got, it got holes in it. The doctrine got holes in it. Yeah, Swiss cheese doctrine. Yeah, like the elders say, you got he got a Swiss cheese doctrine. It got too many holes in it. Yeah. They ain't got the nerve. You got the nerve to say what we teaching, you know, is confusion. What he's teaching is confusion. First of all, nigga, nobody know how the fuck you look. Them <laughs> goddamn shades on, man. Looking like um Johnny Bravo. Yeah, looking like a black Johnny Bravo. Rightly dividing the word of truth, but check this out, verse sixteen. But shun profane and vain babbling. Mm. You know, the word babble means confusion. And profane means outside the temple. And the temple is these scriptures, all right? So if you teach, anybody teaching outside these scriptures, you're about to shun them away. Profane means shun them, you know, get away from them. Just like when a person is sick, they got a cold, and they, soon they sneeze, <coughs> you, you, got, you move out that seat, you know? So if you ever right. see Yashiwan, you cross the street, man. You see his video, you just, you know, you don't, you know, you don't learn from that guy. And we watch his video just to laugh, you know, and cut him up. Yeah. But we don't sit down and get a, uh, a paper and a pen and start writing down what he's saying, because he's off. But shun profane and vain babbling, for they will increase unto, unto more ungodliness. And the word will eat as do a canker of whom Hymenaeus and Philetus. That's what I'm at. Yeah, you're right. So, you know, pretty much, you know, Yashawan, he's going. Done for. You know, we're going, and now we're going to just try to go into prophecies because we in the, we in, it's not the time to try to be breaking down if, if there's hell or not. If, you know, if there's a place called hell, the virgin birth, you know. I mean, if a brother's that just coming in, where they're just coming in, you know, different situations come. You got enough time. Yep. So brother just coming in, you know, they, they, you know, but you've been here over like, you know, like two years, and you, know, you should already know that stuff already. So we're just gonna go into prophecy now. 
because the time we live in ain't living in the time of the um the chip. Which Yashimon he ain't teaching. You know? Right. It's cause he the scriptures say he that's you know his mind is on the Lord to be occupying prophecies. Since his mind's not on the Lord, he's not occupying prophecies. I don't know. This is Revelation 13, start at 16. And he calls it he calls it all most small and great and rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So it says small and great, rich and poor. Because rich meaning, you know, the, the, uh, the rich people, the poor, the average jakes. Free. And anybody that's poor too. Yeah, anybody. Anybody that's prospering, anybody that's in um poverty. That's right. The two Ps. That's right. Free and bond. And the bond is the, the guys that's in jail. If them guys in jail, they're gonna make deals with them guys in jail. The guys that got like 20 years to life, they might give them an ultimatum. Like if you take the chip, you know, we showing down your time, or we let you go out free. So you know, nigga, he gonna take the chip. Free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. And it says um, the right right hand, the right hand could be, you know, that's the whole right arm. Mm -hmm. You could put it, you know, on your hand, or you could put it, you know, different parts of your arm. And if I could say one thing about the chip, yeah. they, um, it's not the chip, the chip actually fuses with like your tissue in yeah. your body. The, it actually fuses with your tissue. Making you basically like a like an android, so this yeah, that's right. makes you like like a human. Yeah, so that way you don't try to take out the chip. Exactly. Because you know? you're gonna have people, you know, gonna actually try, to you know, carve it back out. Yep. But it's gonna be it's gonna fuse with your skin, like yep. you said. And your brain tissue is automatically fused with, fused with um fused with the chip. Yep. That's you the know? time we live in it. So you once know? you get it, ain't no carving it out. If you do carve it out, it's too late. You already took the mark. Yep. That's right. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark, or the name of the beast, or the or the number of his name. So everything gonna be operate operate around the chip. You know, to get on the, the bus, you got to have a chip to cash your check. The chip, the um, the um, buy you want to purchase something, you got to have chip. They had this movie, I wanted to, not to lie, not to interrupt, but they had this movie called In Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw yeah, that with Justin Timberlake? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That movie was kind of bad. Yeah, they had, they, had, they, had, um, they had a new currency, but it was time. Yeah. So in this case, the, the, the dollar is going to be destroyed, and the new currency is going to be what? In the chip, you know? Because that's the whole purpose that the elites want to destroy the dollar so they could bring, they could usher in this new currency. Yep. Which, it, it's not going to be physical currency, it's going to be in the chip, you know? So that's what it says that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark. But the ones that's not going to receive the chip is the, the brother that's in the truth, you yep, know? The elect, yeah. The elect. So guys like General Gehenna, Lahab, uh, Yashu, Yashuan, and all the other guys that fell out the truth, that, that have no faith, you know, they're going to take that chip and they're going to be destroyed. Yep. Uh, there is wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and his number is 600, three scores, and six. That, that's 666. Revelation 14. And... Uh, See, I and nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone." in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. So that means he's gonna be destroyed in his missiles. Man, it's about to rain now, so we're gonna wrap it up with this last scripture. Yeah, that's a spirit. I just, I just, zoomed, I just happened to zoom the camera up the street, yeah. and I saw this thing. I think it got a bones on it, with a skull on it or something like that. It got something, what it says, uh, think, 
Brooklyn water is safe.